Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com. Out here today, continuing my journey with this little guy, my CZ527 carbine in 762 by 39. And we're gonna go over some awesome work that Brad over at IAT did. Depending on how long you've been following, you may or may not remember videos on this little guy. And I, yeah, I like this little rifle. I've taken it out, done a number of videos on kind of like range reports. Go out there with a box of ammo, shoot some groups, see what I got. And it never really was doing kind of what I was hoping it would do. I kind of figured I'd get more out of it. Not that I expect this to be a laser beam, 7.62 by 39. Lots of time shooting steel case. But I don't know, I was kind of expecting more out of it. And I've just kind of been tweaking it along the way. So when I first bought this rifle, they did not have suppressor ready models, not threaded. So I ended up actually getting the Smith to cut it down to 14.5 pin and weld Surefire muzzle brake on there because I have a Surefire 7.62 Mini. And yeah, I don't know, it was fun, but I don't really know the job that was done on the barrel. I don't because came back to me pinned and welded and eh, I don't know. And eventually I was like, you know what? short compact bolt guns are really fun so why not make this a little bit shorter so i ended up sbr in this down to i believe it's about 12 inches so i ended up getting a hold of brad over at iat innovative ammunition technologies and basically went to work getting this guy threaded and he did an amazing job cutting it down and here is that story First order of business was getting the barrel cut down to right around 12 inches, giving us a little bit of room to work with. After that, Brad ended up putting the target crown on the barrel. Next, and arguably one of the most important parts, Brad ended up finding the actual center of the bore. Reason being is a lot of barrels, the bore is actually not dead center in the barrel. So if you just thread the barrel thinking that it is true, it is not, and you'll probably end up with baffle strikes.
and then we get to actually threading the barrel. Once the threads were determined to be good to go, it's time to get the rifle put back together. With this all back together, ended up throwing a suppressor on there and taking it out to the little range. I will say I was basically using ghost strings because I didn't have the optic with me, so the optic was not on there, but ended up basically shooting through the rings that were on the rifle at a silhouette at about 100 yards. Nice. Zero. Really stoked on the work that Brad did over at IAT. It is, it's really cool to see the process that happens. A lot of people will send things off to go get work done by a gunsmith and it's like, oh yeah, they did whatever. But there's a lot of work that goes into that. And when you actually see it, it's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, this probably costs more than 20 bucks to do because it's not someone with a hacksaw and a die and tap set that they bought down at Harbor Freight. Like, oh, just chop this thing off, throw threads on there. But it's pretty cool to see people actually go through the process and yeah, craftsmen basically working their craft. But I will eventually continue my journey with this now that it is cut down and SBR'd. And for all those that are like, why? Because I want to, and I can, and it's fun. So I'm pretty stoked on getting this thing SBR'd. Looking forward to, yeah, putting more rounds through it and spending more time with it. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Father,